Alright guys, what is up? Um, today I am going to be talking a little bit about my Frontier Internet. I posted up one video of me doing an unboxing of my modem and then the first video which was supposed to be like two videos in one. Um, pretty much I showed off half of it of how to do a basic troubleshooting of just, you know, you know, unplugging your modem and then plugging your modem back in. Well, I did the un unplug in the part of the modem and um, I paused the video and I was going to, you know, let the modem cool off, let it power cycle and lose its power, things like that. And when I came back to start the video back up, I accidentally stopped the video. So I uploaded the first part and then I'm uploading and then uploading the second part now. This part of the video is going to be showing you guys my line stats. I do have Frontier Communications for my internet service provider. And then I also live in southern part of Michigan. So there is a lot of network congestion where I live. And that's causing a really big problem for me. So I wanted to post up my modem. And I'll put everything in the description, guys. But here is the modem here. At least this is what it looks like. Again, it has 1-800-239-4430. That's actually for tech support. But the modem here is a... Down there, it's a, it's a D2200. So D2200D. Also put everything about this modem in the description, guys. But that's what the modem looks like. Um, it's their upgrade from the 7550. So the 7550 was the one that they you know you know they originally had here um you are going to need a you're going to need a um cable of some sort doesn't really matter what type of cable what type of cable it is really we're just going to use a basic standard cat um um trying to think what the name is it's a cat cat5 cable that's what it is. Okay. So, what you want to do is... Th this is broken, guys. So, this, this part right here. I'm going to pause this video here, guys. Let me go get my... Find a good Ethernet cable. And then we'll come right back to this video. Okay, guys. So, what I did here was this yellow Ethernet cable goes down and, you know, plugs into my computer. This guy here, uh, we skipped... Um, this would be for like your game console, and then of course this one plugs into my smart TV. So here on your computer, this mouse feels so feels so weird. Um, we're gonna go and open up Microsoft Edge here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is come up here to the top um, of your search bar. If you if you guys can see this, right up here. And what you're going to want to do is type in 192.168.254.254. Okay, right there. Select enter or click enter. Okay. And you're probably going to get this page here. If nothing's been changed, you should do, or it should be admin and admin. It will be A, D, M, I, N, all lowercase. A, D, M, I, N, all lowercase. And that should be for both, uh, should be for both, um, user's name and password if nothing's been changed. Okay. This is going to log you into your modem. And anytime you power reset your modem or anything, it's going to clear all this. So you can see we've got one device on. Um, this is got some information in here we don't want. But as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it would be on that, that page right there. It's 1,376 kbps. Uh, it's a little provision for a little over 1.3 megabytes with one... 160 on the upload okay like I said I'll post all these stats down below but if you guys want to check out your DSL thing you come from the main menu go all the way to the right 
system monitoring and then you're going to click on advanced stats here okay and then you want to once all this pops up you want to click on dsl and here's what we have guys um you got vendor id code line mode data path okay it's an adsl underscore g dot dmt um we're set for fast path here and then this is my what we have here guys now we just powered on the modem here so it's not for the next few minutes so i got 35.4 snr on my downstream 31.0 on my upstream 42 line attenuation on the downstream line oh, great my batteries battery's gonna go dead here on my computer 31.0 line attenuation and then I have 16.5 transmit power and 7.6 um, transmit power and of course there's no errors or anything so that's the overlook of it I will put everything down once this video uh, when I go to upload this video I will post everything in there I'm gonna pause this video here really quick guys and I'm gonna run over to speedtest.net and I'm gonna see what type of results we get Again, if I come back over to my menu here, I gotta hurry up because my battery's gonna go dead. One wired connection at 1.3 on the download and 160 kbps on its upload to kilobytes per second. So I'm gonna run over to speed test here really quick, guys. I'm gonna see if I can get anything and then we'll start the video up and that will pretty much be the end of the video and like I said make sure you guys check the description I'll post all my information down there again I do live in an area that has high demand we do have network congestion and it's extremely bad my speeds have dropped down to as low as 56 kilobytes at night so if you guys come across these videos make sure you check the description in this video here and I'll post all my information um, so hopefully you guys can help me out. So we're going to pause the vi video, try to run a speed test. Well, I'll get back to you guys to see what happens. Okay, guys. Well, my computer, I think, decided to turn off. Like I said, I, I told you guys told you guys the battery was going dead. Um, as you guys seen that in the vi video clip there. So I'm not able to run a speed test as of right now. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the information I can get for you guys right now um, so let me actually pause my video here really quick I'll actually since my t smart TV here is running um, since my TV is um, running off Netflix let me pause my video here really quick and I'll run the Netflix app through my TV again I do have it hardwired through an Ethernet cable so let me try that really quick guys and once this loads up I'll come right back and then we'll uh, wrap up this video, guys. Okay, guys, so almost 800 kilobytes with this test. I'm going to stop the video here and run another one. This is, again, being hardwired through the Ethernet cable to the TV. So 800 kilobytes on the first test um, of my download. So I'm assuming that's not bad. Like I said, the modem's provision for 1.3, so let me run one more test for you guys, and then we'll wrap up the video. Um, and this is just giving you guys an idea right now. I think it's like 1.30 or 2 o'clock for me, somewhere around there. Um, so it's not too bad, but you can imagine, you know, getting 800 kilobytes right now, and then later on, around 7, 8 o'clock, it, it's pretty much done. So let me run one more test, and we'll see how well that stays accurate. Alright guys, so it looks like it came out to the same thing, 795 I believe is what we had. Everything checks out really good. I'll show you guys how it load, plays Netflix really quick. Okay, so just click back. Okay, um, this was one of the movies I was watching. Uh, it's, it's a decent movie. It's a decent movie, it's not bad. Um, so we'll start the movie here. My dad he used to be a research assistant. Well, he was a 
Okay, so as you guys can see, it does load up pretty good. That's about 800, kilobi 800 kilobytes. Like I said, it is hooked up through my modem, but we do have network congestion. Um, I was told if it wasn't for the network congestion, it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock, like I said. Um, but it, it gets really bad after about 7 o'clock, maybe even 5, 5 o'clock. Just kind of depends on the day. And then on the weekends, I'm not too for sure. But that's after, you know, a quick little reboot and things like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm not happy with the service at all. Um, most of the time, it takes even longer for Netflix to reboot. So I'm assuming it's just because, because we rebooted it. But from the, the time that it takes you to launch up the app, it takes a good minute or so. You know, so, sometimes it could take a good minute or so, and sometimes it flips right in. Um, but the modem's provisioned for just a little over 1.3 megabytes. We're getting about 800, 800 kilobytes. We just ran the test twice. I'm running it through an Ethernet cable, but the speeds at night, like I said, we've seen them as low as 56 kilobytes. So um, we'll post everything down in the uh, description. And also, it's a new DSL uh, jack. Brand new DSL jack down there. Um, this is a brand new modem. I went through two or three of them, two or three of them already. Um, I'll po post all that information in. But new jack, new modem, new DSL cables, and then the knitter, whatever the knitter, whatever you want to call it, is literally right on the outside of this wall. And the where the phone jacks are down here, the knitter, whatever that is, is literally right on the outside of the home. Um, I have everything plugged directly into directly into a wall outlet and um, outside the road is you know you walk straight out the driveway and then our neighbor's driveway is where the cable comes through which is probably a good hundred uh, hundred and about 150 to 200 feet so you know maybe if you guys think that's gonna be an issue but um, just go back in this video watch the video all through um, I showed you guys how to um, told you what type of modem I had um, things like that but I'll post everything down in the description like I said, I do have network congestion. The network congestion is really bad. So if you guys think that, check a, take a look at my line stats. If you guys think my line stats are good, then, um, you know, let, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, maybe you guys can, you know, help me, you know, try to figure this out. Maybe there's a way to, I'm trying to find a way with there being net, network congestion. If they can switch me to another server, like remove me the port that I'm on to the server and move me to another server and then hook me up to another port that's not as congested or switching out the links um doing a port reset um or you know even as po possible as getting a new line drop put down according to the frontier technicians we don't need a new line drop but I've been telling them that it cuts in and out um and I'm hoping you know I'm gonna call Monday Monday they're coming back out again to check it out but I'm going to call Monday morning and see how much it would cost the customer. Say, say that the t technician was telling me, me that the line looks fine. But, you know, everything keeps cutting in and out. And sometimes Netflix quality is just terrible. So I'm going to see what it would possibly cost if the customer, you know, required to have them let, put down the drop and how much it would cost. But they did say it was about 200 feet. Um, but I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, make sure to check down in this description once this vi video gets uploaded. Look in the description, and it will have all of the information posted. Also, if you guys have Front Frontier Internet DSL, and you live in, you know, I'll put in my area that I live in and things like that. And, um, you know, if any te technicians, you know, come across this video or not, maybe they can, you know, they can maybe have more information so I'll try to be you know um, put in as much information that I can and um, yeah guys I'm gonna end the video here guys thanks for watching